Hello, this is Jason speaking, and uh, SpyBot Search and Destroy, the spyware scanning software, cleanup software, is up to version 1.6 now, and I am just going to step you guys through on how to download, install, how to use it, uh, this, this latest version, and just trying to keep you guys updated on the changes to the uh, 1.6. And here we go. First thing you want to make sure as far as how to download it, you go to your browser and you type in safer-networking.org and I'll lead you through on where to go on how to download it so first thing we're just looking off to the icon this is their main website spy bot search and destroy you look off to the right hand side notice how it's the version 1.6.0 click on the icon and then we just look down and you've got the download link right here for SpyBot so just off to the right, download there, and then this is just a list of different mirrors where you can download it from. Just hit the first one since it's not really a big file, it won't make too much of a difference. And this is the page where you can download it. Don't click on the topmost one, that's actually just a, an advertisement for a different scanner software that you don't want to mess with. And you want to look down to the download now icon right here that has a check mark right next to the spy bot search and destroy and version number so click download now from here and from here depending on your browser you may have like a little block uh, pop-up blocker notification where an internet explorer this is what i'm getting so i'm just going to say download file it'll reload the page offering the pop-up for me where i want to save it and i'm just going to save it to my desktop screen and uh, leave it as is for the file name. Hit save and it will continue to download. And what I'll do is I'll pause it right now and uh, resume when we're all done downloading it and pick up from there. Terrific. Looks like we have about five more seconds. Two, one. Perfect. And what I always like to do is um, instead of closing it or you know, you know we can always just run it. I just like to open folder and then I'll get us to the location where we downloaded, which which was a desktop. And you just double click on the the um, installation file, which is called SpyBot SD160.exe. Now, for those of you who actually just go back to the desktop screen, we'll just go ahead and do that just to demonstrate that for you. And the file is right there, SpyBot160.exe. I'm just going to double click on it. We have the prompt to run it. Now, of course, th this is on Windows XP. Now, if you're running Windows Vista, you may have uh, different looking pop-ups to confirm to, to run the install file, but the general process is the same. And then you just hit Next on this initial confirmation. Agreement. Hit Next. Default install path folder. And um, just hit Next here. And notice where there's a check mark on download updates immediately. You you optionally may, may want to just clear that off for now. I'm just going to leave it checked. But what that means is that during the installation phase, it'll actually search for updates and install any uh, com updated components to the main SpyBot search and destroy uh, core software also. And this is just the start menu path. And what I like to do is have it not install a quick launch icon, which is an icon that gets thrown uh, amongst this area here. Uh, I don't really like to have SpyBot included in there since I, I don't really run it that often to have it put it down there. And I, and I also uncheck the T timer which is uh, has SpyBot act somewhat like a firewall where it prompts for, it notifies you whenever it senses a, a program that tries to go on the internet and tries to tell you like um, if it's something that you want it to permit or deny and I found that with many of my clients, having that tea timer and notification functionality on just tends to be uh, more confusing and, and makes everyone a little bit more alarmed than they should be. Yeah. I'm glad, actually, it, it's given me an error message. And what it's trying to do is, is it's the phase where it's actually going through and trying to, trying to download 
the, the files, the updates during the install phase. And, and I've seen this happen before, and this is what you can do. Cancel this out. And I'm glad it's doing this so, so that you guys can see this step also. Let's see if it's going to let me cancel. Mm, looks like not. So hey, let's do this. You know, we're, we're all live, whatever. I'm going to go and close the installer. Have the option to say end now. And we'll just redo it. There's a SpyBot link right there. I'm going to run it again. And this time we're going to uncheck that that um, option for us to want to download updates on the fly. So do that. Install path and here it is right here. We don't want it to download updates me immediately because um, I don't know due to my internet connection or this computer. I'm not actually on. Uh, uh, this is not my computer system actually that we're working on. Spy bot. Next. Okay, there you go. You notice how it just skipped through right into the main uh, file copy phase. There we go. Installation complete. Check bar check box for run spy about search and destroy, which is just fine. And it gives us an initial prompt if if we want to delete uh, any temporary files that it found already. This is just fine. I noticed this little uh, feature come up ever since the uh, version 1.6 so, and perhaps maybe a little earlier this is just some legal notification about other uh, spyware programs that it might cross over to and here's the phase this is like a little bit of an automated wizard what I'd like to do is typically just hit next on all of them because most of these steps as you see as we cycle through them are steps that you can do separately through the main program interface which I'm going to do. So here's the main program window here. I'm just going to maximize it. And the first thing you want to do is click update. And let's see if the system crashes during this phase too. So then we get a, a mini window that lists mirrors where we can download and search for updates for SpyBot. Looks like these are the updates available. We'll hit download. And looks like it's proceeding. Let's just double check okay so we get a green check mark for each one that it successfully downloaded so that's fine it looks like it won't take too long